Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. That's the Thomas fire. By what, day six now? Still going strong. I've been watching it since it started from my deck out the front window. Pretty radical. Oops. Darn. Oops. There we go. I want to zoom in on it for you. Let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. That's Ventura down there. That's a huge fresh cloud puffing up right there. It's about 7.30 in the morning on a Sunday. So it's almost going day seven. It's at least six days. I think it started Monday night. So day six for sure. Wind is still, uh, wind is still blowing here. And that's what this video is going to be about, but I'm going to turn around because I got to go. I got to drive to my uh, physical therapy appointment and we're going to talk. All right, so here we are. I mean, I got I to gotta say it right off the bat. I'm a believer of, of positivity that, that we as humanity can prevail, that everything's going to be all right. And the only reason I'm that guy is because I'm not afraid to look at the problem squarely in the eye. You know, that's the only way my life got better is when I decided to realize I have a problem with drugs and alcohol and begin to take the steps to proactively fix that problem. And so I look at every step along my life and it's only when I truly understood that there was a problem that I had to address was I able to fix anything. As I heard it so uh, easily put the other day, if you were stuck out in the middle of a freeway, would you be, would you rather be looking at the traffic coming at you or turn your back to the traffic coming at you? And I, and I think it's obvious. You wanna look, you wanna look at squarely in the eye. So this geoengineering thing, and I, I, I don't want to be an alarmist, but I suppose maybe we should be an alarmist. I, I really have been, you know, my house where I live up here, I sit on a ridge line at an elevation of about 2,700 feet, 2,500 feet with a vast view, a vast view of the sky. And I watch him laying down the, the grid pattern fairly consistently. So yesterday, they were laying down the grid pattern heavily. Now, the disbelievers can disbelieve, but I don't know why you would be believing what the, the lying corporate military industrial complex is telling you, what the government's telling you. When have they ever told you the truth? when you can go find credible factual information explaining exactly what is going on up in the atmosphere. I'm going to hype geoengineeringwatch.org with Dane Wigington. Dude lays it all out, man. That dude lays it all out. Accredited scientists, research, real data, no joke. So you can, you can go that that chemtrails are a conspiracy. Well, chemtrails is an organized word being put out to basically disinfo the whole thing. But geoengineering and upper atmospheric aerosol injection, that's really occurring. The patents are there in the United States Patent Office. The, the information's right at your fingertips if you choose to look. But why don't you wanna look? because it's horrifying and I'm a positive guy so this isn't a, a downer message because I, I've really come to the conclusion if we keep pretending that there's no problem we probably are going to do something really bad to ourselves and so yesterday yesterday they were laying down the grid so heavily man 
And I was driving back. I took took our client into the city yesterday to go down to Chinatown and whatnot. And I was driving back, and the the she was tripping. She's from another country. She was tripping on how bright the sun was, how intense the brightness was. And I don't go into it with my clients about this type of stuff, dude, because, dude, they're just trying to get sober, man. But I was sitting there and I was like, dude, it is a brightness and an intensity of brightness. I I was having trouble, like, like keeping my eyes open, man. I'm a surfer. I spend most of my time sitting in the bright sunlight, staring at the sun, surfing, you know? Something's not right. You know, the other day, like, about right before this big windstorm started. And that's another thing. If you go to Dane Wigington and check it out, like this crazy weird high pressure ridge is artificial. Look, I, I've I've lived in Southern California majority of my life, man. There has never been a seven day run of Santa Ana offshore winds. Three days, maybe. And the intensity of these winds, <laughs> heavy duty, dude. I, I again, like, I don't want to sit and, and get people freaked out, but maybe we need to start like speaking up and looking into this thing because I was listening to a Dane one of Dane Wigington's recent posts and it's our only hope is is that we break this matrix of mind control and stop being distracted look it's not going to get to mer- you're not it's not going to matter your marriage rights or your transgender rights or your racial equality if we're on a dead planet man and this situation with that's going on, man. If 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 this if this science these guys are talking about is correct, we're in peril. And that's some heavy stuff, man. I look at my kid and I'm like, oh my god, like what's this? And and I sat there last night because I was watching the fire last night and the brightness of the the. I was thinking about the brightness of the sun in the evening. And then I was thinking about a couple days, like about 10 days ago, I walked outside and it was like, like, like laser beams were frying me, dude. I remember walking outside and just being like, dude, I'm going inside. And Al was the same way. And he loves being outside. It was just so like, it was gnarly, dude. It wasn't heat either. Like, that's what I mean. So, and Dane's talking a lot about how this, like, extra intense UV stuff, they don't even register because it's not on their, like, scale, but it's on these other scales, is getting through because the upper atmosphere is so tweaked right now because of all the stuff they're spraying. And what's going on is they're spraying a bunch of stuff because they've tweaked the weather because they got to run away system going on man they've done something and they're trying to reverse it that's why they're spraying all the stuff in the atmosphere is is to get us to try to stop something but what they're doing is they're making it worse man because they're dumping all sorts of aluminum and barium and they're they're jacking up the weather systems man and we got to start looking into it I, i'm just some surfer guy this is the I, I'm explaining it the same way Spicoli explained the Revolutionary War to Mr. Hand. You have to you have to go research yourself. A great place to start, geoengineeringwatch.org. Man, you can keep your head in the sand. You can say I'm a conspiracy theorist. Dude, I sit and watch it, man. I sit and watch it. That's what I do. I'm a I'm a stargazer. I'm a sky gazer. I stare and I look at the sky, man. It's my I, my whole life I've been staring at the sky trying to figure out what the weather's going to do so I can surf. And look. What if? All right, let's just go. Let's do a what if. 
What if it's a total, I'm just full of it and, and I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? No harm done. It's a fun story. Woohoo! But what if the what if this information's for real? What if these dudes have totally botched the planetary weather system and they don't know what they're doing? And they're crazy mad scientists. Look, do you I don't know if most people realize that back in the 50s, they were using nuclear weapons in the upper atmosphere to blow holes in the upper atmosphere. Like these people, you know when they ignited their first nuclear bomb? They didn't know, they thought it might have a chain reaction and destroy the planet. These people are crazy. Look, man, look at what they're doing in the in the level four weapons labs where they're where they're making weaponized anthrax and Ebola. Dude, these are like not sane people doing this stuff. They're short-term thinkers. They're egomaniacs. So it's not that far-fetched that they might be on this thing. And people are like, oh look man. It's happening. I'm watching it happen. I can feel it happening. I can see it happening in the ocean, man. People are like, what? I go, dude, the the wave patterns are totally crazy, man. We, Dude, it's, we haven't had any surf really in years. I mean, we'll get a swell here and there, but I'm talking about it's December. And if you look at the forecast, it's flat. But they're getting waves in Hawaii and stuff. You know why it's flat? It's because the, the storms are doing different things than they used to do. They're not dropping down into the down below the Aleutians like they're supposed to, man. The storm patterns are totally screwed up. And like it's all like screwed up, dude. But but I'm a hopeful guy, man. Is, is But ignorance isn't going to solve the problem. We got to start looking up at the sky. Start looking what's going on above us. Man, I'm watching them lake trails right now, dude. It's 740 in the morning, man. I, I don't know, man. Call me crazy if you want. I'm cool with it, dude. And that's what you got to be, dude. All the, one of the things I've truly learned in life is, man with herd mentality is to have, if people call you crazy, you're probably right that you're on the right track. You might be, that's the thing. You might be crazy if you're, because you're not going with the status quo. Don't go with the status quo. Think for yourself. Do your own research, man. Don't take it from some spun out surfer guy with the YouTube channel. I'm giving you a good place to start, geoengineeringwatch.org. Get with it. The link's down below. I'm probably having the link going across the screen the whole time. This is this is serious, man. But it's hopeful as soon as we realize that something's going on here. And we need to, to sound the alarm bells, people. So, I don't know. Look at the traffic or turn your back to it. But I'm not, I'm not turning my back to the traffic. I'm looking at it, baby.